everybody, Mark Spector the Comics, and I'm back. This time, with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're interested in hearing what my top five picks are, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. All right, guys. So we're here for my top five picks for New Comic Book Day on August 17th, 2022. So it's been a, I don't know, it's been about a month or so since I've made a video. I've been slacking to say the least. Uh, just have not had the time to catch up to make these videos, but I'm going to try to be better and make these on a more regular basis. So I got five picks for you guys. I think they're pretty solid. So uh, bear with me here. So number five. We got from, let's see, um, by A Wave Blue World. I've never heard of this publisher. Uh, I believe this was first originally kickstarted and it was made, you know, got fully funded and um, here we are. So this one's called Crash and Troy number one. Um, I like cover B. It's a variant by Paris Alina and it has that really cool, it looks like a Star Wars um, homage. And basically, it's an intergalactic mercenary Rex Crash Ballard and Troy 3.0 find themselves in hot water after a prison break on Wexia 1 sets free the dictator of Wexia 2. Now they have to clean up their mess before they find themselves locked up. So, number five. I think you guys will like that one. So, number four this week, we got from Marvel. And this is going to be my only Marvel book this week. And this is a bit of a shock because I don't usually put Star Wars books on here. But this is Star Wars issue number 25. This is going to be a spec book um, written by Charles Soule, art by Andres Genelate. And it's going to be a bunch of first appearances. First appearance of John and Beverly, nephew and niece-in-law of Kira. Um, first appearance of Major Sharon, General Palton, and Ambassador Gibbons. I think there's a few more uh, first appearances as well. Um, a few, a few cool covers. I'm just gonna stick to the um, cover A. The Sprouse Choose Your Destiny cover is also a pretty neat one as well. The cover B. But I'm gonna stick with that one for number four. Number three this week we got from DC. We got Black Adam issue number three. This has been a cool series. Only um, this is issue, you know, three three issues in. We got a possible first team appearance of the Pantheon of Gods from Outer Space. It looked like it was teased that there was going to be a villain coming into issue three based off the last issue. And now we're at the point where um, the White Adam, which is the new, you know, Black Adam has, you know, taken over. And it looks like they might end up re, uh, bringing back Black Adam into issue three. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Going down to number two this week from Image. We got Do a Power Bomb, issue number three. This has been a fun series written by Daniel Warren Johnson. And um, I'm just going to stick with it. I do like both covers. Um, I slightly like cover B a little bit more by Jake Smith. Has that cool, like, um, just manga style. So I like that one. All right. And for number one this week, going to DC, we got Batman. One Bad Day, The Riddler, issue number one. This is going to be a one-shot written by the great Tom King and art done by Mitch Gerards. Um, as you can tell from the title, it's going to be a Riddler story. Basically, the Dark Knight's greatest villains get their stories, you know, the greatest stories yet. The Riddler, Two-Face, The Penguin, Mr. Freeze, Catwoman. And much, much more. They're all going to be having one-shots from what I've gathered. Um, it's going to be a 64-page prestige. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive. You know, it's going to be 8 bucks. Um, but I think it's going to be worth the read. And that's why I'm putting it as my number one. There's a ton of variant covers. Um, you know, choose what you like. Um, I like, actually, I like the cover A by Mitch Gerards. There's um, a really cool... I like Jim Lee's cover, cover B. That one looks nice. It looks simple, but it's, it's you know, to the point. 
Um, I think a few people are going to like as well is the, let's see, I think it's the cover E, the incentive, Mikhail Janin variant. This could be a one in 50. You see the uh, Riddler sitting there in the chair in the green looks fantastic. But um, just choose what you like. And that's really it for this week, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Wanted to keep it rather short. Um, if you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys are picking up. Until next time, Mark's Back the Comics. Out.